fine. How you doing, Joe? All right, we're in December now. We are indeed. And already we're talking about snow for t- t- tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, is, they, is this uh, dusting? I haven't paid attention to any detail. Yeah, it's, you know, more of a conversation nuisance type thing, uh, although the early morning hours could be a little, a little dicey, so I'm, I'm sure the city's ready. Always ready. Always ready. The kids will love it, though. (laughs) That time of year. I suppose. (laughs) It's good for somebody. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) If I never see snow again, it'll be too soon, but that's just me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It's good news for the uh, skating rink, though, right? Yes, actually, it's been going pretty well. Uh, I mean, other than the the rain we had, you can't (laughs) obviously skate in the rain. Sunday was a tough day, but uh, Friday, Saturday, it was well... uh, well, uh, the place is jammed. I mean, uh, my folks tell me that lots of people showed up, people having a good time. It's been, it's been great. Yeah, it's noon to eight every day. And do you know what reservations required? Uh, that was going to be looked at, I know. I know they that's preferred. Yeah. So they didn't have an understanding. You can only have so many people on the ice at a certain you know time. Uh, so I think they're limiting to one-hour skates and I think they're encouraging that. I'm not sure if they've been uh, if they've been sickened by that or not. Sure. It's so neat to see a Zamboni in Quincy Center. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> I know. Who thought? Huh? <laughs> As kids, we wish we had that to save us home pond. <laughs> yes, that life it was a little rough there for sure. Watch out for those Absolutely. sticks and rocks. It'll get you every time. <laughs> Uh, Mayor, of course, uh, last night the uh, City Council did vote uh, to approve the new property tax rates for FY 2024, and I wonder if you might explain a little bit about how those will impact uh, property owners in Quincy. Well, it's, it's a, uh, I, I did two years ago when I presented the, the pension obligation bond, which is a significant savings over you know, 18, 19 year period. I did in, indicate that we're going to have a couple of spike years and then it would flatten out, and this is one of those spike years. So if we didn't do this for the next 18 years, the bill from the uh, retirement board would have gone up about $130 million, uh spread out over the 18 years, which is significant. So we uh, decided to get on the route of the pension, obliga- uh, pension obligation bond, as you know, and it's, we hit it just right in the market, so over time we're saving money. But this year we're converging on that spike in the ta- um, the debt service as, as well as uh, other things that are hitting. So this year and next year, a little more challenging, and then it flattens out going forward. So um, what the council votes on is the tax classification, not technically the rate, uh, the classification which shifts more the burden onto the business side, uh, where they pay 175%, uh, where homeowners pay the uh, less. Uh, and it's based, of course, on, on the values. And values are still pretty strong. I mean, the, the housing market uh, continued to go up last year. We're always a year behind on the values. That's how it's determined for the current year's tax rate. You go by last year's values. So we're still seeing very strong values in Quincy on the residential side, big time. Yeah, according to the presentation, uh, average residential value is $616,000 up. Seven percent in one year. Yes, that's pretty strong. And uh, I thought you know things would be leveling off, but uh, people want to live here. And it's uh, I got three adult children trying to break into that market, and you know people are bidding on houses. It's, uh, it's crazy. It's very different than when I bought a house in 1989. So, can you talk a little bit about some of the uh, appropriations that were made to to stabilize the tax rate? Yeah, actually, what we do is we try to buy down the rate. Um, this would have been this could have been a thousand dollar increase, and uh, by doing a number of financial maneuvers, which we do try to do each year to try to make the taxes more um, feasible for for folks to deal with. So, you know, we use free cash, for example. We tap the uh, reserves. Uh, if we've got outstanding purchase orders, we cancel those. There's a number of tools we use to get that number down. Uh, we've done that actually for the last 10 years or so. Um, don't hold me to 10, but 9 or 10 years, I believe, we've been doing it that way to try to keep uh, things within reason for people to uh, to deal with. So, uh, again, we appreciate the council's support. I believe it was 
an eight to nothing vote. It was, uh, yeah. For the Cattle Club not being in attendance. So, um, you know, we appreciate that. And, uh, you know, taxes are never easy. Nobody likes to pay them. But, uh, you know, for what the city provides them services, I, I don't think any community can touch us. Um, so we're, uh, you know, glad to get that part of it finished up and, and uh, look forward to a new year in January. So the, the average uh, residential increase is $418. Does that sound right? That's uh, that's what I believe was in the package. Um, that's after buying things down. So it is, it is heftier than uh, we've seen in a long time. But as described a couple of years ago, this is what was predicted in uh, in a peak year based on the pension obligation bond. Again, over time, it'll be more palatable because if we didn't do that, uh, it'd be going up significantly, significantly every year for, for several years. So we kind of swallow it in one or two years, and then and then it goes the other direction. Mm-hmm. Um, so what now after this appropriation? What does the city have for uh, reserve funds? Uh, still fairly healthy. We've got um, get some. For example, we did a a uh, sale of uh, back tax properties that um, people have owed for a long time, and uh, so with this this provisions under the law, we can sell those off, um, and somebody an investor will come in and buy that. So we did some of that. We also brought a lot of additional taxes in. So that has not been recertified yet, but that's off to the side. When the state recertifies that, that's probably in the five to six million dollar range that mm-hmm. goes back into the reserve uh, that we're tapping for for the use. So I don't know the specific number off the top of my head, Joe, but mm-hmm. um, you know we're we're in a pretty good place overall. So uh, we're able to to do these maneuvers to help buy it down. And um, yeah, we're using some reserve, but that reserve will get uh, filled up again once we get that recertification by the state. I see, and. And how long do you think it will be before the city starts to realize some of the savings from the pension obligation bond? Well, as I said, there's two, uh, there's two difficult years, this year and next year. Okay. And then after that, it's the debt service flattens out. So uh, if we didn't do this, the bill that comes from the Italian board to the city every year mm-hmm. would have gone up dramatically every year. Like this year would have gone up $15 million just to pay the regular bill, not to pay off the pension. Mm-hmm not to fully fund it, only to pay the that year's bill, and it would have continued to climb. And uh, as I said, over a period of time, it's about $130 million savings by doing it this way. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a hit these two years, but uh, the next several years, it flattens out. Sure. Very good. Mayor, we should talk a little bit about some of the events that are still coming up for the holidays, uh, including a menorah lighting, a crash gathering, and, of course, tonight's big Pops concert. Yeah, all of them uh, have become important traditions as part of the uh, Christmas holiday celebrations. Mm-hmm. And uh, certainly I know uh, Rabbi Benjamin will be with us uh, on the 7th to do the lighting, I think around 5 o'clock, 4 or 5, 5 o'clock yep. Thursday night. Um, we always have a nice little turnout for that. and um, it's, uh, it's an important part of the history of the Jewish community. Uh, so that that is terrific. Look forward to that. And then, of course, yes, tonight is the big night with the uh, Symphony Orchestra, who... Uh, a lot of Quincy people in that orchestra, a lot of local folks that uh, are incredibly talented and come together to put on a pretty amazing talent, uh, talented show, uh, working with our school system, some of our kids are involved, some of the teachers are involved. It's really a great night uh, at the auditorium at Quincy High School. And, of course, uh, the conductor is full of personality. <laughs> he, he's unbelievable. I uh, really enjoy watching him uh, Pull the performance together, so it's it's a it's a really a wonderful wonderful evening. Yeah, tonight at seven p.m. at the Lloyd Hill Performing Arts Center, and uh, folks will be able to watch it here on QA TV as well if they can't make it. Uh, happy to bring that. And uh, we use some of the students at the high school to help produce uh, the uh, the TV production. Oh, that's excellent yeah. as well. Good experience. Absolutely, and I know it's uh, not too soon to talk about Winterfest <laughs> in February. <laughs> Oh, it is too soon. Oh, okay. I <laughs> <laughs> we'll know John McDonald's putting it together uh, in and around President's Day there. Yep. So it's, uh, it's another opportunity just to have options for families with kids to do things. Sure. Free things. It's just great. Absolutely. Mayor, appreciate the opportunity to check in and uh, wish you uh, a happy day. You also. We'll see you tonight, Joe. Okay. Thank you very much. 
Bye-bye.